MetaMaps.com, made by us, designed by you. Go to MetaMaps.com, use the code YUKIJESUS for 10% off of your order. And uh, I have a confession to make, guys. This is gonna be the first Yu-Gi-Oh! Confessions video in a year, so the screenshots of the uh, confessions from the Discord are gonna be a little wonky. Yeah, that's gonna be a big confession from me. I have been putting off this video and many other videos for a long time. That all being said, it is time to continue the second coming. I just wanted to get my confession out of the way before we got to everybody else's confessions. And speaking of these confessions, load me up with tons more. The link to my Discord is down in the comment section. Go to the confessions channel on my Discord. Leave your confessions in there. Don't leave them in general. I don't want to see them. I actually, even though it's been a year, I haven't even looked at these. I, I stay out of that confessions channel on my Discord. I want all of my reactions to be completely genuine. I did, I mean, I, I'm not, I, I would lie if I said I didn't get a peek scrolling up on my phone to get to where I was, but did I sit there and read all of them on my way up? No. So load me up with tons of more confessions. A couple weeks, a little later in the month, since it is the spooky month, I'll do the full Yugi Jesus garb. I will power up, and we will do an epic Halloween Yugi Jesus confessions special. And like I say for these videos, there is no judgment, only entertainment. Uh, I hope you learned your lesson. If you did, if you do confess something that's I don't know, a little more egregious, like ripping off a kid on trades, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. I hope you do become a better person. But then there's other Yu-Gi-Oh sins, other Yu-Gi-Oh confessions that are more innocent that I go over here, like um, something you did out of ignorance, like maybe uh, trading a card that you shouldn't have using that last example again in a different way. I've already heard the craziest of the crazy Yu-Gi-Oh stories in this series, and I just want to keep this going. Once again, no judgment, only entertainment, and let's get right to that entertainment right now. I have already scrolled up to where I was. Oh man, and my phone just did the flicker. Okay, I gotta, it like flicker, like I had it locked, right? And I unlocked it and it went all the way down to the bottom. So I gotta, man, I was ready too. Bless thy name, but also forgive my soul, for I feel as though I have sinned. I played Master Duel and hit the ground running with Phantom Knight, and I did not know Rongo was legal. That card is nasty, dude. That card is nasty. Was it like five level four warriors or whatever? And you lock your opponent out. I can't remember how much it requires, but it is a it's a dirty effect. Ladder had been a joke, full of starter decks and the occasional Utopia or Sky Striker match. While I was building Thunders and Orcus at Gold Five, I got vibe checked by Eldlick. Yeah, that deck, that deck's nuts. I actually played that a lot at locals this past weekend. Played against that a lot. Getting back to Yu-Gi-Oh, getting back to practice. A lot of people playing Eldlick control and stuff. Uh, uh, actually, uh, what's funny is I tied it. I, I beat it before the tournament, and then I played another Eldlick player, and then we tied because it going into time or whatever because it took forever to try to beat the damn thing. <laughs> Yeah, and Cyber Dragons, of course, because, you know, I'm always playing Cyber Dragons. But the only player I beat in a couple matches before the tournament actually ended up winning the whole thing. Just funny Yu-Gi-Oh! stuff like that. It just it happens. No problems, though. I could take that shit on. That's when they flipped Drain. <laughs> yes, Gil Drain. I pushed on, but after numerous rank downs and auto L's to the deck, I believe I have been blessed or cursed. I relented and joined the dark side. I crafted and purchased until I have completed my very own Drain Lick deck. <laughs> he joined the dark side. He switched sides. <laughs> rank up after rank up. None stood the test. I pressed as the skies, the heralds, and the brigades fell. Even my own deck in the hands of rivals faltered. Platinum one is my limit. Upon reaching it once, the drain was unbanned and my friends provided me with the entire deck at a reasonable price. I must ask, was I blessed? Well, it sounds like you were blessed because if your friends gave you the deck in real life, why do you need it on Duel Links or Master Duel or anything? Like why, like why, why do you, you, you don't, you just go play Yu-Gi-Oh now. You can actually go play Yu-Gi-Oh now. So go play Yu-Gi-Oh. Forgive me, for I have sinned. I find pure cyber dogs to be more fun than cyber dragons. It's actually a pretty fun deck, I'm not gonna lie. So, one of the last videos I did was the deck profile video after the structure deck came out. And I really like that structure deck. I really like the cyber dark in dragon boss monster. I really like all the search cards and stuff. Uh, the deck is just too linear. The boss monster is just too hard to get out. The deck loses to you know, uh, hand traps and stuff too much. And then also, let's just say you don't go for the uh, power bond, you know, get Cyberdark in Dragon out build 
Okay, let's just say you're not going for that and you go for more of a, um, I don't know, protect the castle kind of anti-meta deck or whatever you would call it with the field spell. Even then, it's too linear. I, I love it. I want it to work better, but it's just not all there. You could probably get some local wins and stuff with it, but I wouldn't take it to a regional uh, or a YCS and expect to do very well with it. Um, not even after, right after it first came out. You know, it's just, it was, it's just... <laughs> It's solid, it's good support, but it's not, but it's a lot like Konami's other support for past archetypes where it's good enough. There's no sin there though, uh, the deck is really fun. Uh, Cyber Dragons are still way more competitive and the uh, Cyber Dragons will remain uh, to be more competitive, especially with Clockwork Knight coming out soon. Um, and Cyber Dragons are just, they're, they're competitive on and off through many different formats because of Chimera Tech. It's been explained on this channel many times. It's one of the reasons, one of the many reasons why I play Cyber Dragons even to this day is because I don't care what you're playing and what format. I go second and I kill your shit. Kind of nice. You want a true confession? I mean, it's kind of what the whole point of... Anyways, I found my old obelisk that needs to be thrown away because of it being left in my old room for a while, leading to this it's pretty bad but you know what i'm just glad it's not like the original obelisk you know like that what would it be like the game boy like secret i, I forget which one it was or was it the magazine one just the parallel secret the og i'm glad it's not that that would truly be a sin this is you know just kind of a lesser sin you're you're, you're forgiven just take better care of your cards card market sellers tournament legal <laughs> Okay, that's pretty funny. Yugi Jesus, forgive me, for I have sinned. My brother finished a deck built around the winged dragon of Raw, wanted to test it against my dino, and I went full tryhard on him and beat him two matches in a row. Did you go full tryhard and, like, rule shark him and everything, or did you, like, actually just try to give him a good match to be fair to him so that he would learn? Those are two different things. Two different things, so I'm not sure if there was a sin committed here. Confession time! I do not side deck. What are you playing? Just the best deck of all time, then? You, you fool of yourself over here. You think you think you're Mr. Mr. King of Games? Yeah, yeah, this guy, Mr. King of Games. You don't need a side deck. Yeah, yeah, whatever. But confession: When observing other people's duels, I call out things they missed. Discarding for Super Poly, etc. Don't do that during the match. I mean, I guess you can like after their turn during the match, maybe. Yeah, like, yeah, read a rule, read the situation. But like after a match, yeah, by all means, tell you know you, your your person like all the ways they messed up so they can improve. As a child, like bold, so he's like specifying here. <laughs> I never really understood what Horus the Black Flame Dragon level four did. I just skimmed it and thought I could special summon level six just from having it on the field. Big cringe looking back. Anyway, at some point in high school, I actually read it and wondered why nobody ever called it, called me out on this. Yeah. <laughs> That's that's some, that's like some uh, old school, like don't don't even get me started on like my days, like in the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh when I was a kid, in like the you know the two thousands, you know, like in middle school and stuff, and play you know playing on the school uh, hallway like on the floor, you know, and we're activating like three pot of greed and stuff, not knowing the pot of greeds are one, you know, and we're uh, negating with MST and just all kinds of stuff, dude. You're forgiven. The crap just. It just happens. It's so funny. The only reason I got into Yu-Gi-Oh was because I want to impress a girl. Dark Magician Girl? There's no girls in Yu-Gi-Oh. And the girls that are in Yu-Gi-Oh don't really like Yu-Gi-Oh. They're just on YouTube and stuff. You know, making money from soaps, typically. I'm not saying every single one, but uh, you all know exactly what I'm talking about now, don't you? Some of you are guilty. <laughs> Maybe y'all should confess which one of you uh, are the simps out there, you know, uh, letting, this, letting this happen and continue uh, so frequently. <laughs> but anyways. If I, but, <laughs> Someone asked him, how did that turn out? And he goes, well, I'm singles. <laughs> like, of course. Like, what? <laughs> like, what chick are you even gonna pick up playing Yu-Gi-Oh? Besides, like, Dark Magician Girl, who's a card. It's fiction. <laughs> like, like, that's the only girl I can imagine any dude picking up. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh, like, what? That's your reasoning, man. Forgive me for I have sinned. Yesterday at locals, I was in a tournament faced against a kid, barely a teen at the oldest. I was playing Branded Despia and he was playing Burning Abyss Phantom Knights. I showed him no mercy <laughs> in my defense. I lost my first match and won my second. Dude, once again, sometimes people have to learn as long as you weren't being a dick about it. Like, your deck sucks, you should get better. Plus, by doing that, you're actually like 
spitting lies at them and like kind of brainwashing a person, gaslighting a person like, you should get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! and totally care about this stupid card game and do that with your life instead of important things. As I sit here on my Yu-Gi-Oh! channel. But you get what I'm talking about. Forgive me, Father, for I am a sinner. I want graceful charity off the list one plus for at least a format or two. You know, I would say that's a bad take like a lot of other people, but I'm not like other people. I'm gonna sit here and be like, that's a really good facetious observation about the state of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me, Yu-Gi-Oh Jesus, for I have sinned. I purchased a meta deck so I could feel good about my stuff. <laughs> no, it's, you're just paying to win, dude. <laughs> like, that, that's it. Uh, you know, and uh, uh, I, I, I giggle and I get so many kicks out of, uh, out of uh, Yu-Gi-Oh every so often because every so often there'll be somebody that tops with something completely random and people are like, oh, we never thought of this. I'm like, it's because you don't think for yourselves. I think I, I have like won so much money in GOAT tournaments. Like GOAT, GOAT players are such snobs and it's so funny. I've won so much money playing GOATs over the years and stuff and you know, and top so many tournaments, it's ridiculous. But I'll still have people tell me my card choices are bad and stuff like GOAT snobs and stuff and it's, it's just, I don't talk to them. I just kind of like cringe and laugh and just, uh, I don't know, pray for them even just like, for the love of God, pun intended. <laughs> Just stop behaving that way. Just play whatever deck you want to. Don't be a dick. Have fun. And if you do get good enough to think of your own deck and uh, you know, or think of a unique strategy, and, and I mean, by all means, go go with that. And if you and if you feel more confident, uh, you know, playing a meta deck, then then play a meta deck. Um, people know me as the Cyber Dragon God. But guess what? Guess you know what? This is a fun fact that I, I've t I've told people, and they're always blown away. Guess how many regional top, like top 32s or anything, like let's go, let's put the ceiling down here. You know how many top 32s I have with Cyber Dragons at a regional? You know why? I've only taken Cyber Dragon to a regional one time and it was for fun when I knew it wasn't really good in that format and I was just trying to get another top four fun similar to what I did with Evil Swarms, what I was talking about earlier in the video. It's because in every format where I've gotten a top, gotten my invite and stuff, I was playing a meta deck or something, at very bare minimum playing more meta cards. <laughs> it's like, it's what I was more, that was just what the, I was most comfortable playing and that's, those are the decks that I felt would give me the most results and uh, obviously they did. And that's all, that's all it comes down to. Was I a dick about it? No. Was I flashing my max rarity cards? Not in the way of, hey, 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 look at what I have and you don't. I was like, dude, these are fucking sweet. And I was looking at other people's cards and being like, these are fucking sweet. Just be normal. Forgive me, Yugi No No, for I have pinged you. Also, I was just banned from Yaddle Lock server for calling him Yaoi Lock Senpai. Yeah, the, the, I've had so many people call me Senpai and stuff. You know, all, all the weebs. You know, I, I love all of you nerds. I do. I really, really, really do. But there's a point to where all of you sound and and they're you sound the same. You're using all the same words, and I'm like, it's like a, it's like beans all over again. You know, it's like this hive mind, and I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Forgive me, Yugi Jesus, for I have sinned. I have made Tune Cancer too. This looks, yeah, this is definitely referring to a deck I made a long time ago when Totally Hero was a deck, and it was a it was a really good deck. It was a meta deck, and um. People got mad at me. I made this uh, totally, you know, it's totally awesome turbo, you know, Bahamut Shark Goat, you know, make totally awesome. But I made it with tunes, you know, using Toon, Toon Mermaid and uh, Toon Gator, like, like he's showing here with a rescue rabbit. And I had so many comments like, you know, that's not a tune deck. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, those cards that I put in the deck that say tune on them, that makes it a tune deck. <laughs> I just made it better than what tunes do. <laughs> like, if you want to make a tune deck that does what tunes do, and if you want to lose harder, that's on you, man. I love tunes. The tunes are one of my favorite archetypes, don't get me wrong. They're going all the way back to, to when I was a kid. But are they a good deck? Are they going to win you turn? No. This <laughs> is not going to happen. So a long time ago, I made I made a deck that made tunes as good as I could get them at that time. And this is this is a parody of that. I mean, it, it, it looks solid, dude. Like, Toon Mermaid's debatably the best tune. Uh, you know, Toon uh, tune Red Eyes, Toon Dark Magician, those newer ones are pretty good. Toon, you know, Cyber Dragon, they're pretty good. But, like, I, it's like... As far as like going all the way back historically, I think uh, Toon Mermaid's like the best one, but uh, what do I know? I'm just, I'm just Yugi Jesus, right? Like whatever. <laughs> but anyways, guys, leave me your darkest secrets, your Yu-Gi-Oh! sins and confessions down in my Discord. The link is in the description. That is it. I will see you in a couple weeks with uh, more uh, 
not judgments, but entertainment, right? Although I am judging just a, just a little bit. I'm just kidding. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. Leave, me, leave me more sins. Out. Beans, 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 be